Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, through the name of the Holy Spirit. It's called Halalia, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Peace and blessings unto the children of God. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, Rakak Wadash, Rakak To all you listeners who may tune into this, Shalom. This is Brother Yutazakai, coming back at you with another lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. All praises and honor due. And I want to entitle this lesson. Things visible and invisible. Things visible and invisible. You know, because uh, there's invisible things and there's visible things. You know, we have to be cognizant of it. And a lot of times the things that are not visible are the real things that's supposed to be visible to us. You know, um, Lord willing, I can elaborate a little bit more on, on this. I'm just getting some of these scriptures. Lord willing, it's edifying. I might make a... Uh, do this and break this in two parts. So, uh, Lord willing, it's edifying. This is Colossians 1 and 16. It says, For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible. So there's there are things that was created that's visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Right? So there are things created, including powers, dominions, and principalities that are both some visible and invisible so you got thrones that are invisible you know and visible you got dominions that's uh visible and invisible you know you have principalities that's visible and invisible you have powers that's visible and invisible you know um the things that we're supposed to be seeking out we in the things that are invisible the things that can't be seen matter of fact let me get one This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 18 says, While we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Right? So the things that are not seen are eternal. That's what we're seeking. We're seeking eternal life. So that's why we're supposed to look at the things that are not seen. Things that are invisible. You know, that's why we're supposed to be seeking the things that are invisible. Powers that are invisible. You know, principalities that are invisible. You know, which those principalities should be Yahweh Shah Mashiach in it. In the, in the host of heaven, you know, uh, dominions, you know, so we should be the governing dominion of our Lord, you know, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, um, thrones, you know, which our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, uh, sitting on the right hand of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, those are the thrones that we're supposed to be seeking, you know, and, um, you know, uh, mercy and truth is, it upholds the throne. You know, it upholds the throne. So we can have an invisible throne through through mercy and truth. You know, we're supposed to be seeking things that are uh, invisible. You know, things that are visible and not the things that we're supposed to be looking toward. Matter of fact, let's go to what is invisible is. Invisible is unseen or that which cannot be seen, e.g. invisible. So that which cannot be seen. That which cannot be seen. We look at the things that are not seen. That's what we're supposed to be looking at. Visible. visible open to view gaze that capable of being seen right so and you know we know that the jews require our signs so the jews are all about seeing things that are visible you know but that could be a downfall you know because there's things that are invisible that we have to be able to uh seek out the lord uh, i mean we're supposed to be seeking out the lord through things that are invisible and we're supposed to be serving the lord um because our lord is an invisible power you know, he's an invisible power. So, you know, we have to be seeking uh, invisible attributes or in invisible rewards or um, invisible characteristics. Um, let's go to Romans 1. It's Romans 1. In verse 20, it says, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his internal power and godhead so that they are without excuse there are invisible things that are seen clearly through things that are visible right and that could be those intangible rewards that me and the brother Karab was speaking about early uh in camp this uh this most previous camp you know you have in intangible rewards you know and um you can see them you know because yahweh shai our lord he's led captivity captive and gave gifts to men you know, so you can see 
you, you could you could see um the the power of uh, of the heavenly father through um certain men you could see it through creation you could see by you know the certain type of uh characteristics and attributes that men exercise or that men possess you could see the heavenly father through them through through those characteristics you know so you know we have to be mindful of, of these invisible things because the heavenly father could be showing himself through these things that we cannot see you know a lot of times we might be looking for the heavenly father to show himself through something that's actually seen but he could be showing himself through something that's not actually seen you know we just have to be able to uh take heed to it you know let's go here this wisdom of solomon this wisdom of solomon chapter 13 verse 1 it says surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of yahweh bashim yahweh shai and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master so the vanity of men blinds them from seeing afar off things deeper than the surface you know that's that's what happens you know the vanity of men surely all men are vain by nature you know they're 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 expecting or just looking for things that are visible or things that can be seen rather than seeing uh to, to be able to see the heavenly father or to be able to know the heavenly father or to be able to um you know consider that the heavenly father could be in the mix of something they have to be able to see uh with visibility that the heavenly father is actually involved but a lot of times they can't see through the creations you know of of the creator the heavenly the, the creator is seen you know so you have to look at the works and the works the, the works that the heavenly father created and the works that they're actually uh distributing without in the earth you know this is how the heavenly father is seen you know but the vanity of man it doesn't allow them to be able to see things that are not visible you know so we have to be able to tap out of vanity to be able to be able to see things that are invisible you know we can't we can't be involved with uh vain purposes or have our mind put in our mind uh we can't let vain thoughts lodge within us like it speaks about in jeremiah the fourth chapter you know this this is how we're able to see things invisible and be able to see the creator through his creations and through the the, the creation works that they exhibit you know um let's go here the second corinthians the second corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4 it says in whom the god of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of amashiach who is the image of yahweh should shine unto them right so there are men whom have had whom have their spiritual vision blinded and they cannot see things invisible right so there's uh, there's men who uh, have their minds blinded, and they can't and they can't have the glorious light of the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach shine unto them, which is the image of God, which is the image of Yahweh. So they can't see Yahweh, you know. They can't or or see what the heavenly Father represents. They can't see His Son, you know. They can't see the Spirit. They can't uh, uh, recollect. Uh, they they can't. Uh, they, they can't be in one coherence with 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 uh, the gospel or with the image of Yahweh, where Yahweh shine in spirit. You know, it's, it's impossible for them to be able to inherit the law of life. You know, the glo the glorious gospel, they, those those good news, the, those tidings of peace. It's impossible for them to be able to take these things in because they can't see, they can't see invis uh, things that are invisible, and also the benefits of invisible um, of invisible things. You know they can't see the benefit in it you know and they also can't even see it period you know why because of vanity you know and their, their spiritual vision is crippled because of vanity you know let's go here whom the god of this world who has who has blinded how has he blinded them he's blinded them through vanity through the, through, through through the flesh you know through the through the less of men you know that caters uh uh the god of this world caters to the flesh you know, caters to the flesh, and in, 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 in the flesh, um, the flesh and in, in the sensuality, and sensuality, that's what the God of this world um, appeases to, or, or, or uh, you know, connects to, you know, that's what he connects with, you know, and so men who, you know, are operating within the flesh, or, you know, loving the lust thereof of the flesh, you know, they have their minds blinded, you know, they have their minds blinded because they can't see the perks 
within walking within the spirit or they don't have that love for being in the spirit, you know, per se. Um, This uh first John chapter 4, verse 20 it says, If a man say, I love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and hateth his brother, he is a liar, for he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he say he love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai whom he have not seen? Right? So um, those who are bound by Satan can't see the visibility of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his brother. Right, you know, because uh, we've been talking about how the God of this world has blinded those. Who uh, blind the minds of those who do not believe, you know? So, in the God of this world, of course, we know it's the spiritual demon Satan. He offered uh, Yahweh Shah Mashiach the kingdom, which kingdoms can be synonymous of this world, you know? So, yeah, uh, uh, the spiritual demon Satan is in control of all these different uh, worlds, you know, within the world, you know, who framed the world. We're speaking about our Lord Yahweh Shah in Hebrews, first chapter, but. It's still talk, it, it's, 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 it was still speaking about how there's multiple worlds and the spiritual demon Satan, he's in uh, he's in dominion of most of these worlds that's on this earth, you know, that's on this earth. He's in the he, he he's in dominion of these things, you know. But the 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 earth, the earth, the physical manifestation of the earth and the physical manifestation of uh, of vanity. This is what you know, and, and all the thing and, and the rudiments and the philosophies that come there with. That's what the spiritual demon Satan is in control of, you know. So, and those who um, are stuck within these worlds or those who are fascinated by these worlds, those who are living within these worlds are under the dominion of the spiritual demon Satan, you know. And through and, and, and their eyes cannot see that, that the Heavenly Father is actually being seen in their brother, you know. They, they, they can't even see that the Heavenly Father is, is, is resting within their brother. You know, just like it says, uh, Yahweh Shah was speaking about in Matthew the 25th chapter about uh, I was naked and I was unhungered and you came to visit me. Why? Because a lot of times the Heavenly Father is seen in men. You know, a lot of times the Heavenly Father is seen through your brother, through your neighbor. You know, uh, a lot of times Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is speaking in more ways than you can, you, you can even perceive. So you got to be able to understand. Well, first and foremost, we have to be able to break, break away from the bounds of Satan, the bonds of Satan to be able to see the visibility of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his creations, you know. So if you're not, if you're, if you're, if you're bound by the spiritual demon Satan, you're not going to be able to see the visibility of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his creations, starting with your brothers, you know. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna just look at your brothers just like some niggas or just like, just some, just some men, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, um, you're just gonna look at them just, just as, as, as just as, <laughs> just as yourself, which you're supposed to esteem them higher than yourself. You know, and you esteem them higher than yourself by seeing the God within them, you know, seeing the godliness within them, you know, and that's also how you see the Heavenly Father within, uh, this, this This is also how you, well, one of the ways that you see the Heavenly Father, you know, things visible, because he's an invisible power, matter of fact, let's get there real quick, because if our, our power is invisible, then how do we see him, you know? So like is right here. It's Colossians 1 and 15. Oh, so like Matter of fact, I was, let me just get this one. I was going there next. So like So like you. First Timothy one, let me just get this. This first Timothy one and seventeen says, Now unto the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Our mind. So there we go right there. Our power, he's an invisible power. We have an invisible power. He created he created many spirits and creations that is also invisible. Colossians oh, this, this spirit. I was already going there. Colossians 1 and 15 says, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature, right? So our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashak, is the image of the invisible power. We just read that in, um, we just read that in, um, what was that? Salakia. 
Oh yeah, it was in that um Second Corinthians four and four, Salakia. And Second Corinthians four and four was speaking about how our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashak is the image of Yahweh. He is the image of the of Yahweh. And also we're supposed to take on the image of our we're, we're supposed to walk in the image of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashak. You know, we're supposed to be walking in his course of conduct. We're supposed to be following after what he represented, you know, so we're supposed to be giving honor unto our Lord and the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And we do it by giving honor unto our Lord by um glorifying him. You know, by uh, immortalizing him and, and walking in, in his manner of life, you know. So we also are to be images of the Heavenly Father, the invisible God, the invisible power. We're also supposed to be images of him as well, you know. And um, and the characteristics that we embody that come forth from the image of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, is supposed to be seen in men. And this is supposed to, uh, you know, represent the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and what he stands for. You know, and, and this is supposed to uh, move us to compassion and, you know, um, move us un unto uh, love and peace. You know, matter of fact, let's go third John 1 and 11. So lucky. It's third John chapter 1. So lucky. Third John chapter 1 and verse 11 says, Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua, but he that doeth evil have not seen Yahweh by Shem Yahshua. So not doing evil is how you see the invisible. Uh, uh, doing evil is, is what limits your vision. You know, so we were talking about those who are bound by the spirits of demons, Satan, they can't see invisibility. Also, those whom do evil, they cannot see things that are <coughs> slacky. They cannot see uh, invisible things. They cannot see the invisible power. Yahweh by Shem Yahshua in the image. That he represents because they do evil and no evil lies no iniquity lies in yahweh with yahweh shah in yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem kakadash no evil lies within there you know so if you're doing evil you know that's that's because you have not seen yahweh because if you truly seen him then it would it would cause you to put away evil you know if you or if you could truly see him then you would want to put away evil you know you would want to put away evil but if you're doing evil your 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 vision is going to be limited. You know your vision is going to be very limited if you're doing evil things. You have to put away evil to be able to fully, to be able to fully see uh, things visible and things invisible. You know. So not doing evil is how you see things invisible. You can't do things in, you can't do things evil to see things invisible. And and, and doing things evil uh, and doing and, and doing evil limits your vision. Uh, uh, it, 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 not, not doing evil is how you see things invisible, and doing evil limits your vision to be able to see things invisible, and also uh, it also um, intensifies your ability to be able to focus only on things visible. You know, so that's why it's so important to put away evil. You know, so what? So you can see things invisible, and your and your sight won't be so focused in on things that are visible. Because our power is an invisible power. So that's what we're supposed to be seeking an invisible power. And that means we have to be seeing things that are invisible. This uh Saint John chapter 15 and verse 24 says, If I had done not among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. They had not had sin, but now they have both seen and hated both me and my father. Ooh. So knowing what sin is reveals things invisible and staying away. From it helps you see with the third eye. Wow. So um actually knowing what sin is, that, that helps reveals what things are invisible, right? And that's he that do of evil, you know what I'm saying? Uh he, he that do of him evil have not seen Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So if when you understand uh when, when you understand what sin is, it causes you and what it does to you, it causes you to stop doing it. And why? Because you know it's destroying you and you know it's, it's uh, killing you. You know, you know it has no good benefit for you, you know. So this is what uh, causes you to be able to focus in on more things uh, that are invisible, uh, invisible, such as righteousness and uh, holiness and godliness, you know, which cannot be seen, which are not tangible things. You know, it, it causes you to focus more in on these things because you understand that no benefit comes forth from doing evil or doing sin so now you understand that there's benefit in not doing evil and not doing sin so this is what you pursue you know and this is how you start to see um uh things uh invisible you know this is how you start to see 
things invisible. And this is also how you be able to keep yourself from things visible that could uh, end up in, into an in, in, invisible uh, reward that's not beneficial for you uh, uh, being perfected within righteousness, you know. Uh, I'm just get a couple more. Let's see, Philippians. This Philippians chapter 2. It's Philippians chapter 2 and verse 10. It says that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under heaven. So there are knees that are going to bow that are under the earth, also things in heaven, invisible. Right. So there's there's things that's they're subject to our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach that we can't even actually see. You know, it said all knees are gonna bow, even things in in the earth and under the earth. And things in heaven so it's things under the earth that we can't see it's things in heaven that we can't see you know but all knees are going to bow down to Yahweh uh Yahweh our Lord uh the Heavenly Father Yahweh they're going to bow down to Yahweh with Yahweh Shah you know so that that means that uh ultimately uh we could be in earth or, or or under earth or in heaven you know what I'm saying and uh our conversation is supposed to be in heaven you know our conversation is supposed to be in heaven, which that's an invisible thing. So how do we walk in heaven if we don't actually know where heaven is? Well, we've been made to sit in heavenly places with our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and that's through um, uh, uh, walking within uh, things that are invisible, seeking things that are invisible, characteristics and attributes that are invisible, and also seeking the uh, invisible God through the image of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, walking in his course of conduct. You know, um, I'm going to just get one more. And I'm gonna come back with a part two. The second Maccabees chapter nine and verse five, it says, But the Lord Almighty Yahweh Bashinasha, the God of Israel, smote him with an incurable and invisible plague. Or as soon as he had spoken these words, a pain of the bowels that was remediless came upon him and sore torments of the inner parts. Right, so there are invisible plagues that can hit you and overtake you and you won't even know it. And that, and, that, and that happens from you putting forth your hand into sin, you know, because you don't know, understand what sin is. So you're doing it and you don't understand that this sin is actually uh, hurting you. It's, it's, it's not helpful to you because a lot of people think that certain things that are sinful are uh, okay to do if you're doing it for a righteous cause or, um, or, they're, or, or they believe in their mind they're doing it for righteousness. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, they're, they're, uh, they don't understand it. This sin, what, what they're doing is not righteousness. It's actually sin, and it's not helpful for them. It's, it's, even if you're doing it within a righteous cause, you know? And a lot of times, you'll get hit with an invisible plague by putting forth your hands into iniquity, into sin. You know what I'm saying? You'll get hit with that invisible plague because you're not realizing that to uh, not be able to see things invisible is already a plague. It's already a plague. Why? Because it's going to cause you to put forth your sin hands into sin and we know because he that do doeth no evil he, he that doeth evil have not seen god so it's going to cause you to put forth your hands into sin and we know that all iniquity is a, is a two-edged sword is a, is a double-edged sword matter of fact let's get there real quick before we wrap it this uh this uh chapter 21 and verse 3 it says all iniquity is as a two-edged sword the wounds whereof cannot be healed there it go right there you know, so all iniquity is a two-edged sword. That's what happens to you. You know, so you're doing you're doing iniquity, and you put your hand into it, and it's just like, oh, okay, I did the sin. That's that's one that's one slice. You know what I'm saying? Because we know that uh, sin sin brings forth death. You know what I'm saying? But how the the, the other slice is the fact of uh, uh, knowing that you've done wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or knowing that you've done a, a foul foul thing, a sinful act or iniquity that you can't take back. You know, now you got to meditate terror. You know, so not only do you get the consequences from putting forth your hand into sin, but now you have to meditate terror from doing the sin and also be faced with, uh, you know, uh, whatever comes forth from putting your hands into it, you know, which could be through your meditations or can be, you know, uh, your body actually, you know, having a sickness, you know, these things can actually happen when you put forth your hand into sin, you know, so and, and this is why, uh, it's important to focus on things invisible because if you focus on things visible, you can get hit with an invisible plague, you know.
But uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give our praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakat Kadash, Adawan by Shazah. Lord willing, it was edifying. So why do Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakat Kadash? But now I'm going to do this. Shalom.